I'm Emily, your safety trainer, and in today's video, we'll be talking about cybersecurity and more importantly, network security. Whenever you're using a computer to search for stuff on the internet or to share files with others, you're using a network. And depending on where you are, networks can be public or private. So that means some networks might be more vulnerable to cyber attacks than others. In this lesson, we'll cover what a network and a network security are. Also, we'll go over the different types of network security controls and the types of network security that might be used in the workplace. Plus, we'll talk about signs that the network might have been compromised. And finally, how you can help protect your company's network. In the world of information technology, a network is typically defined as the connection of at least two computer systems. For example, you might have a laptop connected to your home computer. This connection allows you to share files between the two computers. In today's working environment, a network is usually a collection of computers, servers, mainframes, network devices, peripherals, and or other connected devices to allow for data sharing. Anyone who's ever set up a home Wi-Fi network knows, many different devices can be classified as network devices. These devices include, but may not be limited to, desktop and laptop computers, smartphones, tablets, and webcams. There's also mainframes, servers, consoles, firewalls, bridges, and repeaters. <laughs> and don't forget network interface cards, switches, hubs, routers, and modems. Each one of these devices has a distinct purpose that helps keep our technology running smoothly. Network security is a term that covers a lot of ground in the IT world. Basically, it refers to the tools and processes used to protect computer networks and data. This includes things like firewalls and encryption to keep your info confidential, integrity checks to make sure data hasn't been tampered with, and making sure only authorized users can access the network. Network security is essential because it keeps our data safe from hackers, cyber criminals, and other threats. It's constantly evolving as new technologies emerge, so it's essential to stay up to date on the latest trends in order to keep your network secure. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. There are three main types of security controls that organizations may implement independently or together to help with network security. These three main controls are physical controls, technical controls, and administrative controls. Physical controls involve the use of physical barriers to prevent unauthorized access to network resources. Technical controls involve the use of software and hardware to protect against unauthorized access and monitor and control network activity. Administrative controls involve the development and enforcement of policies and procedures to ensure the security of network resources. Organizations may implement one or more of these controls depending on their particular needs. Those three network security controls are subdivided into five main categories. Preventative, detective, corrective, deterrent, and compensating. Preventative controls are designed to stop attacks before they happen. Detective controls help to identify attacks that have already occurred. Corrective controls help to mitigate the damage caused by an attack. Deterrent controls discourage attackers from targeting a particular system. Finally, compensating controls help to make up for any weaknesses in the other four categories of controls. No two businesses are the same. So it makes sense that not every company will have the same network security measures in place. However, there are some types of security that are more commonly used than others. For example, most businesses will have some sort of firewall in place to control traffic coming in and out of their network. They may also use antivirus software to protect against malware and other threats. VPNs are another common type of security, as they can help to protect data that is being transmitted over a public network. Other common safety measures that a company can take to ensure network security are company policies and procedures for computer and device use and information backup, business continuity plans, network access controls, intrusion prevention systems, and proxy servers. You can also do things like place servers or routers behind locked doors or cabinets, place security cameras, motion detectors, alarm systems, security guards, warning signs, backup systems, backup power systems, and hot sites like branch offices or data centers. 
you notice any of the following signs, it could be an indication that your company's network has been compromised. Your login credentials don't work, your anti-malware or antivirus has been disabled or uninstalled. Maybe new programs have been installed, spam emails are being sent out, and programs are requesting access to your network. Also, if you notice new toolbars have been added to the internet browser, your default browser has changed, you are redirected to different web pages, or your computer begins to function on its own. That's definitely not a good sign. There's also instances where you get random pop-ups, suspicious privileged account activity, or outbound traffic, or there are new files of unknown origin. Another bad sign could be that the system is performing poorly. There are unusual usage patterns, there is a denial of service activities, or there is unexplained addition, deletion, or modification of data. If you notice anything suspicious about your computer or your network, you should report your suspicions to either your supervisor or designated IT department per your company's policies and procedures. By reporting your suspicions, you can help to protect your company's data and ensure that its systems are running smoothly. Just like with other cybersecurity concerns, you can help protect your company's network from an attack by following some simple guidelines. Make sure to follow your company's computer use policies and procedures. This includes ensuring that any firewalls, antivirus software, and anti-malware are properly activated and up to date. If you receive a message about needing to update your antivirus or anti-malware, be sure to speak with your supervisor or notify the designated IT department. In most cases, these updates can be completed automatically. Always report any unknown individuals who are on the premises or in areas where only authorized employees should be present. This helps to ensure that unauthorized individuals do not gain access to sensitive company information. When setting passwords, be sure to use strong passwords that are unique to each account. This will help to prevent hackers from easily gaining access to your accounts if one of your passwords is compromised. When using company computers or devices, always make sure to connect to the approved Wi-Fi networks. Do not connect to public networks as they may not be as secure. Additionally, avoid checking your personal email when using company property. Your personal email provider likely does not have the same network protections in place, and you don't want to risk downloading anything malicious onto the work computer. Stick to using only company-approved web browsers and applications, and be careful about clicking on any not safe for work websites. They may contain spyware or malware. Some examples of these types of sites include those that offer free entertainment or downloads, websites that look low budget with a bunch of ads, and of course, any website that antivirus or anti-malware deems not safe. It's important to follow your company's policies and procedures when it comes to data backup. If applicable, make sure you're using your company's VPN when accessing the internet from work computers or devices. And if you misplaced or had a work computer or device stolen, immediately notify your supervisor and IT department. It's also important not to check personal social media accounts on work computers or devices, as links, surveys, or games that are available on these platforms may be able to install spyware or malware on the computer network or device. Really, you shouldn't be doing that anyways. To conclude, network security plays an important role in the functioning of a company. And just like your home network, company networks are just as vulnerable to cyber attacks. To help protect your company's network, you should abide by your company's cybersecurity policies and immediately notify your supervisor or IT department if you notice suspicious activity on your work computer or device, and especially if you lost a computer or device. If you have questions regarding your company's cybersecurity policies, please speak with your supervisor. Thanks for keeping our company network safe. That's all for today's lesson. If you like this video, look for us on social media, and remember, stay safe out there.